assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh uh, these short cl classes are designed for the character building of children and especially for those families which are living uh, outside muslim countries and they don't have uh, much of uh, islamic classes for the children so their children they can help their children to take these classes and these are not long classes 10 to 15 minutes or sometimes uh, 5 to 10 minutes and not a burdensome classes and these are very easy activities which the children will inshallah integrate in their life and all their life it will be helpful and beneficial to them and since the parents would have helped them in learning these or the teachers would have helped them in learning these so they can get benefited from it and similarly school administration can take ideas from it and uh, teachers can take ideas from it and similar classes can be organized in the schools or uh, simply parents can just uh, fix a time in their home and the children can take it okay so the class will start uh, in couple of minutes inshallah get your children ready to take the class assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh bismillahir rahmanir rahim how are you children today? MashaAllah, you are fine. Alhamdulillah. As we have learned earlier, whenever <clears throat> we start anything, what should we say before that? Mm, yes, you are right. We will say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. And similarly, whenever somebody asks us, How are you? So how so how should we respond? We should respond by saying, Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Okay, I ask you again, how are you? Masha Allah, you are quick learners. And a little bit revision of previous classes. Whenever we are amazed or we see anything that is strange or we hear anything that is uh, very strange, so what do we say? We say, Subhanallah. And whenever we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what do we say? We say, Alhamdulillah. Right? And whenever we talk of the future, so what, what do we say with that? We say, Insha'Allah. And whenever we see something that is beautiful or we see something that is nice, we say, MashaAllah. Very good. So this was a little bit revision of the previous classes. Today the class is very interesting. InshaAllah, we will be learning left and right. <clears throat> what is left and what is right. Right hand and left hand. And for a Muslim child, it is very important to learn left hand and right hand. Huh? So our class is about this, inshaAllah. Are you ready for that? Yes, Alhamdulillah, I'm ready for that, MashaAllah. So here we have Mr. Maaz, inshaAllah, we'll be learning with him what is right and what is left. So first he starts with right, then he does left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, okay, mashallah. So once again, right, left, now right. Mashallah, start waving your hand on the right. The student also do the same. Now he'll be doing the left. So raise your left hand, start waving. Very good, mashallah. Then right again and then left again. So practice this, this with your uh, whoever is sitting with you and learn right and left then we'll be learning what activities do we do with these hands mashallah jazakallah pause the video please and learn it so mashallah you have learned left and right do you know whenever we eat so what should we say before eating yes bismillahir rahmanir rahim and we should eat with which hand what do you think yes with the right hand our holy prophet muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam may, be, may peace and blessings be upon him. He would always advise us to eat with right hand because the shaitan or the devil or the enemy of human beings, huh, he eats with left hand 
and he drinks with left hand. We as a Muslim, we will always eat with our right hand. So which hand should we use? Raise that hand, please, with which we eat. Yes, the right hand. Masha Allah. Similarly, whenever we are drinking, we will be using our right hand. Like the child is holding the glass in his right hand. So we should be uh, using our right hand for eating as well as drinking. And whenever we are drinking, what should we say before that? Yes, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. And who eats with the left hand? Yes, the devil and the shaitan. How do we know that the shaitan or the devil or the enemy of human beings he eats with the left hand? Because our holy prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, he told us that the shaitan he eats with the left hand. So we should eat and drink with. Right hand, Masha Allah. Now I will see how smart you are. So please raise your right hand. Okay, now raise your left hand. Which is your right hand? Can you wave your right hand? Masha Allah, very good, very good. You have learned, Masha Allah. And can you touch your right foot? Yes, this is your right foot. And then can you touch your left foot? Masha Allah. See, there are so many things with the right hand for a Muslim or in Islam. So the next thing is, whenever we shake hands, we should shake hand with the right hand. Yes, Masha Allah. We should shake hand with the right hand. And what should we say? We should say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Whenever a Muslim kid he or she shakes hand and says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. So Allah forgives all his sins. And whenever we are waving hand for salam, so we should wave our right hand. And we should not just wave, we should also say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Right? That is how a Muslim he's, uh, is supposed to do salam and supposed to shake hand and supposed to wave hand right hand now this is very important right whenever we give something to somebody we should give it with our right hand for instance we are giving somebody a pencil or for instance we are giving somebody a, an eraser or a sharpener or our bag or water or food or anything we hand over anything with our right hand hand similarly whenever we are taking something from somebody we should receive it or take it with our right hand right so give and take, take is with which hand with our right hand. So as I said, there are so many beautiful things that we are doing with the right hand. Right hand is the right hand. Right? So many rights. Masha Allah. Now the next important use of our right hand, which we learn from our scholars, ulama, or from Maulana Sahib, is that whenever we hold books, so we should hold it with our right hand. But if the books are more, we can hold it with both hands. And at the times of need, we can hold it with the left hand also. But it is better that we hold books with the right hand. Similarly, when we are holding shoes, so shoes should be held with our left hand. So this is not very difficult. This is easy, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, this is enough for today. And it was a very beautiful class and it was nice to see you after a day or two. Uh, so the class finishes. When the class finishes, we should say what? We should say Alhamdulillah. We use Alhamdulillah after finishing everything. And especially after finishing of this class, we thank Allah for helping us in learning so many things about Islam and bringing it into practice in our lives. So inshallah, see you next time. And before departing, we say what? We say, Assalamu alaikum 
warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And in reply we say, wa alaikum assalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.